Okay, before you going to buy our products and make sure that everything is working when we deliver them or the USPS deliver them, um, I'm going to show you how to test these to make sure they're working okay. But before I go on, I will show you the difference between them so you can understand a little bit better so you don't get the wrong product. Um, first and foremost, it's the smallest one here which is shown here. This is actually for like the iPad and this is the 2.5 millimeter which is 1 16th of an inch. If you use your ruler, um, 1 16th of an inch is only right there. That's it. Let me show you really close. Only that block right there, because if you count from here to, to one inch, it will be 16 of those little blocks. And that's why they call it 116 or 2.5 millimeter. The next one is the 3.5. This is a pretty standard for like phones and iPhones and things like that. The newer one, you might have to use the 2.5, which they're trying to shrink it even smaller and even so that way you won't, uh, that way the phone can be thin. But uh, most of the market right now is 3.5. But like I said, double check on that first. Last but not least is 6.3. They are 6.3 millimeter. The standard size is 1 fourth. I didn't mention the, the 3.5 millimeter is 1 eighth. 1 eighth of an inch. Whoops. One eighth of an inch is right here, right there. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that would be one eighth of an inch right there. Now, when it comes to one fourth, it does the same thing on the uh, ruler, which uh, one fourth of an inch that's where it fits okay so one eighth of an inch this is where it fits see now once we got that so measure your hole if you're unsure measure your hole these are pretty pretty standard on like the larger amplifier guitar um, or like old record players and things like that they have this big huge hole and that's the one fourth one right there uh, the standard size they shrink it down to this and now like I said they shrink it down even smaller which is the 1 16th so let me show it again 1 16th it's about right there okay now to test this when we send you we send the wire as working here okay uh, this end is tin. We made a little bit extra. They just tin it for convenience. So if they break, just strip it off and get more wire, but they're not tin. We tin them so that way people can strip them off easily so they don't have to fight with all the, uh, the strings. Well, the copper wire is inside. So anyway, um, this tape here, that's actually the uh, it's the right hand side we taped it so that way you know which one is right hand side and which one is left there right away Un if you you lost this piece of tape you can actually see if you put the red marker towards you this is your right and this is your left so when you follow that to the end here you will know exactly which one and which one is right and which one is left now to test these, you would put it on this symbol over here, on your meter. So get your meter out, turn it on, and make sure this symbol here goes to that. When you touch it, it'll give you a beep. Okay? And that's how you know it's called continuity. It's actually just continue the wiring. But 
They call it continuity. Anyway, to test the continuity, I'm going to leave this meter down here and hope you guys can see. All you have to do is test. Your, this is outside here is your negative. So you can place it right here or here if you like. And just touch the black wire. I'm going to separate this out. And you're going to hear a beep. A beeper again. Now your next one to test would be this one here or this one, but I'm going to test the right. That's your right right here. So you would test. You touch here and you hear the beep. That's your right. But make sure to touch this one, this one, and this one to make sure there's no beep. If there's a beep, double check right where you touch just to make sure you're not touching on the other side so that's why it beeps uh, just to make sure that that is correct that have continuities meaning that it the wire continued from there all the way down to here that's why it gave the beep now you do the left which is the top the tippy top you touch here no beep you touch here that's that's the right, but no beep. You touch here. That's the ground left, and no beep. And the positive left. And you got a beep. So that's the negative, no beep, positive beep. Now go back to here, which is your right, positive, negative, negative positive so now you know for a fact that this is correct this was made correctly now if you don't get any sounds and things like that to your system this is the only way to test your wires if you hear buzzing and after testing that only one of these like let's say you test your right and there's only beep only one right and you test your left there's only beep one left then that means your system might have to be grounded and that's a very well known issue in a recording industry uh, that's the extra when you have a lot of equipments around it actually grab the sound from the other one sort of like if you have a certain devices that you actually uh, can click on click off and then it affects your radio signals or your TV signals or remote signals that's because that's it's it's called uh, the white noise and it's pretty much all around so uh, if that happens then you would need a ground wire and you can pretty much google that how to put a ground wire on your system or something so you don't have the buzzing noise the humming and the buzzing noise 99% of the time that is the ground issue now if you don't get anything from your device coming out number one it might be your you need an amplifier or two this is bad but if you test this before you actually started it then you know the wire is not bad now that is on your side you would have to figure it out your own system meaning let's say you have a device and you only put out 15 watts of power and you plug this in and you plug it to a hundred watt speaker you would barely hear the sound but if you plug it to a 15 watt speaker then your device is putting out the same amount as the speaker now let's say you have two speakers the system's only pumping out 15 watts but you put two 15 watts speakers together you will barely hear because now you're splitting left is 15 left has to be 15 and right has to be 15 minus a half of that it's only 7.5 watts per side now if you hear low noises or you don't barely hearing it then that means you might record you have to get an amplifier what is an amplifier well most people knows it but other, for the people who don't amplify just amplify the sound it just add extra wattage 
So it boosts the, the signal from here to your speakers. And that's what mainly most people are mistaken of. But if you test this and this is correct, then you would have to solve the other side, which means your device. Device has to be the equal to left and right of your device. Let's say my TV. Uh, it says 25 watts output per side. So now if I plug this in, actually not this side, but it would be like the 3.3.5. My TV have a 3.5 millimeter output. That means my only my speaker can only take 25 on the right and 25 on the left. Now, if, if I put a bigger speaker, let's say I put a I plug this into a hundred watt speaker, then it it can still only pump out 25, regardless what kind of speaker do I have. So it is best to match your device when you plug this in. So that way, you can get the same amount that is output. That's only if you don't have an amplifier. Uh, there are cheap amplifiers that actually, like maybe like under $10, that actually would boost the sound to like, you know, 25 watts. Let's say a device is only put out like 10, uh, an average, it's like 15 to 25 watt. And you want to boost that to 50, or 200 watts, you would get an amplifier that is going to boost to 100 watt. That 100 watt will give you more volumes. So don't think that this is not working correctly because you just test that. And I've tested here on this video for you and I show you how to do it. So as long as you follow that, you know that we send you the correct, uh, that that is a working wire. Um, we actually tested all these before we send them out. Same thing as you do. After we, we uh, make them, we actually test it. And that's how you test these, uh, uh, these product here. Uh, pretty much a simple. Um, but just because you plug this in does not mean that your device is going to pump out like a concert. Now, if you can do that, Oh Lord, I'd, I'd be a trillionaire, not a millionaire, not a billionaire, but a trillionaire. So just because I plug in a small device and I able to power a concert speakers. Oh Lord, we don't, we, we, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board about science. Anyway, um, or electricity for this matter. Um, so I hope that you will understand how to test these wires to make sure that they, that they are correct. But if you test them and it didn't pass or didn't give you that beep there like we did before, then the wire might be damaged in here. But like I said, we actually test them before we put out. But just to make sure that they're not damaged, then just follow this video and test all of these wires. Okay?